second grade. This is Shiva again. We're working with grade two skills for in unit three, lesson nine. For learning goals, review the sound spellings for n spelled k-n, r spelled w-r, and w spelled w-h. You can read one and two syllable words with the o sound spelled o-a, o-e, o space e, and o. And then read the story of Bell's training and answer questions about the text. Okay, first for some review. So, sometimes when you hear the n mm sound like in knock, it will be spelled with a k-n. Next, when we hear wrist, that r sound is spelled with a w-r. And when we hear the word when, that what sound in this word is spelled with a W-H. Okay. On the screen you see our tree for the O sound spellings. It's spelled O-A like in coat and road. O like in open and so. O space E like in home and poke. And O-E like goes and home. We're going to add one more word to each branch. Oatmeal is on the O-E branch. Frozen is on the O branch. Toenail go on the O E. And tadpole on the O space E. Okay, now we're going to have a series of words um, that we have to figure out where the break is between the two syllables. Remember, if the vowel in question, in this case the O, is right at the break, that vowel will be a long vowel sound. So in this case, O. If it's not at the break, it's a short vowel, ah. Okay, first, so do we have ovals or ovals? Ovals. Okay, our next word. This word may be tricky because both options are real words, but it's a lowercase p, so in this case it is not referring to the culture. So are we looking at Polish or Polish? Another clue is this is what you might do to furniture. Good. Polish. Okay. Next, are we looking at solar or solar? Very good. Solar. Next, we have, is it frozen or frozen? Frozen. Okay, so just like before, we've seen with the other vowel sounds that the O spelling, um, it's kind of like a tug of war. But, and when you're reading words with the O and you're not sure if it's going to be an O sound or an A sound, practice chunking it and figure out what the two chunks sound. So in this case, the two dog we're pulling, is, are we looking at broken or broken? Figure out where the break is and what the chunks are, and sound out and figure out which one makes more sense. Okay. If you have your skills pages, your page today is 9.1. What you're going to do is, it says, have students combine two of the three syllables to create a word that completes a sentence and write the word on the line provided. So, for example, look at number one. The two, the three pieces we have are king, po, and smo. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna put two of them together to make a word. So letter or number one A. One thing that is bad for your lungs is blank. So you're gonna put the words together. Um, is it going to be poking or smoking? One thing that is bad for your lungs is and smoking. So you're gonna have the S M O Go in front of the K and G to make the word small K. And you'll continue that through one through five, making two different words for each box. Then on six through ten, you're going to do just like we just did together and circle the correct break of the word. For example, number six, my teacher is. Is your teacher Polish or Polish? In this case, the word is capitalized capital P, so it's referring to the cultural background. So is she Polish, like from Poland, or Polish, like the furniture polish you use on your table? Yes, Polish. Okay, okay so we said smoking. 
And then number one B. Beth was reading until Sam started poking her. All right, now for our reading portion. We're still looking at our kids' accelerator. All right, some of our sound spellings for the A sound. We have take, lane, and same, or all A space E. Training and explained, or AI. Say is an AY. And then for our O sound spelled OA, we have coach and moaned. Okay, our vocabulary this time, lane. The pool is divided lengthways. So in the swimming pool, it's a long rectangular shape. And lanes are um, the space that each swimmer has to compete and swim back and forth. Okay, often they're divided by like a rope or some kind of divider. Training is a process used to learn a skill or prepare for competition. So the swimmers in the stories have to do a lot of training where they get their bodies and muscles ready to perform and to race. Taper is to gradually do less of something. So if you're swimming or running really fast, taper is when you start to gradually slow down. And the sayings and phrases, no pain, no gain, no pain without gain, means it takes hard work to succeed, right? So. She's not going to get better, no gain without pain. They're not going to get better if there's not effort and work involved. And our purpose for reading today is to closely learn how Vail trains for swimming. Okay, Vail's training. So at the top, you see a picture of Vail and Coach, Coach Pidwell. After that, with Kim and Vail, both sisters jumped in the pool and started swimming. Kim jumped in lane three. Vail jumped in lane nine. Why don't they both swim in the same lane? I asked RRSP coach Stan Pinwell. They don't have the same training program, Coach Pinwell explained. Kim is a sprinter. Val swims in longer races, like the 500. The races are not the same, so the training is not the same. We stood next to lane 9, where Val was swimming. She swam back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. When will she stop, I asked. Not for a while, says the coach. Val is training hard for the big meet. She has been swimming a lot of yards. In a week or so, she will start to swim less so that her arms and legs feel loose and rested for the big meet. But it's not time for her to taper off yet. This morning, she has a lot of yards to swim. Do I dare ask what counts a lot? She's been swimming 7,000 or 8,000 yards a day, says the coach. Yikes! I said, that's like five miles. Yep, says Coach Pitbull. That's what it takes to be the best. When she finishes swimming, will she get to go home and sleep? Nope. Later on, after she gets out of the pool, she will do bench presses and leg presses. She will still do sit-ups and chin-ups. Oh, man, I moaned. It makes me tired just to hear all of that. It's like they say, there's no gain without pain, said Coach Pibwell. And there, Coach Stan Pibwell smiles at the swimmers. Okay, if you don't have your Google Sheets to complete, you can use Google Forms for Unit 3, Lesson 9. Great work today. See you tomorrow.